So I said I wasn't going to buy any more guns until my birthday. Well, mistakes were made. Let's move on. So this is the Panzer Arms BP-12, the Bullpup 12-gauge shotgun. Um, I wanted to get another shotgun because the uh, the 870 I use on on this channel a lot. I mean, it was my uncle's. It's great, um, but it's from 1950, the first year they made it. And I just felt bad about all the stuff I was putting it through for something that had sentimental value. So I decided to get a shotgun. Um, fun fact, this is the first shotgun I've ever bought. Um, all the rest were inherited. They came from somebody. Um, so I thought I'd get one that would be a lot of fun. Uh, so far, this one's been a lot of fun. Comes with two five-round magazines. And you can buy a ten-round magazine. Um, it takes the uh, AR-12 magazine. So whatever fits in that fits in this. Uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun to shoot. I put about 100 rounds through it. Uh, today I'm running Winchester Universal. Ugh. I'm shooting. going to be shooting some of this stuff and some Federal. Uh, right now I'm shooting the Federal, but we'll try some different stuff. We'll try some slugs. Uh, I don't have any buckshot uh, with this whole COVID thing going on. You know, the store shelves are bare. It's hard to get. But, uh, yeah. So the ambidextrous safety. Why they put ambidextrous on a, uh, on a bullpup, I'll never know. Because if you're shooting left-handed, it's going to come right across your line of sight. I've done it a few times. It's okay. I'll try to get some video of it. Uh, let's see. The mag release is here. On, it can be released on either side. Ah, you have your uh, normal slide or the side rail. Personally, I prefer the side, but whatever. So let's go ahead and shoot this a little bit. Yeah. All right, what did I do? Yep, got loaded. Safety is off. I always forget the safety for some reason. All right. So the only problem I have is it tends to have these stove pipes. You can just flick it out of the way. And you're good to go. Um, Has bolt open, bolt hold open on empty. Ugh. So, huh. hmm. Technical difficulties. I can't get it to load. This happened once before. There we go. I don't know what the problem was there. First time that has happened. So, let's go ahead and shoot the silhouette target. I don't like these. I don't think these sights are on. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, so the sights. I'm not happy with the sights. Um, they're easy. Let's see, can you see this? Let's see if we can move in here. So as I shoot, this thing keeps moving forward, moving up into here. So I really need to just leave that down. Um, I can replace the sights. I could take the back one off. It's fine, they just came with it. I'm just gonna put the back one down and away we go. All right, let's let's shoot the ten rounder. Yeah, it loaded just fine then. All right.
Failure to feed. There we go. So nine out of 10 went okay. Um, I've read that it really needs to be broken in. You need a couple hundred rounds. So I've only put probably a hundred rounds to it. So let's, uh, let me set up some new targets and we'll try shooting some more stuff. Yeah, a couple little hiccups here and there. This is the, now I'm shooting the Winchester Universal. I get to, no, I didn't get around in there. I didn't pull it back far enough. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot the silhouette again. Just to show, I mean, this is a fun, this is, God, this is just so much fun to shoot. So that you know that one worked that mag works flawlessly. Yeah, see, hitting the release doesn't do anything. Something's jamming up. Pulling the magazine seems to work. And it loads just fine that way, but hitting the uh, release doesn't do much. Apparently it didn't load. Because I didn't get the mag seated right. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. So the mag's loaded. Nope. That worked. I don't know what I did different. I used the... Uh, the handle instead of the button. Well, maybe that's it. Let's just go ahead and blow through these. God, this thing is so much fun to shoot. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but when it locks on an open chamber, it feels different, so I can know it, and I kind of like that. So, let's... Uh, oh, I got some of these three-inch shells. The fast steel. Yeah. Oh. What are they? They're number four shot. So let's see. Uh, let's see how it deals with these. I don't shoot three inch shells very much. It can handle up to three inch shells, according to the uh, manufacturer. To. I have to do push it down and slide it in. That seems to be the best way I've found. I can't just push it. So like a normal uh, like pistol or rifle mag, I could just push it down and it go in. I can't do that with the shotgun. So I have to push it in and then slide it back. Voila. So let's see how the three inch shells work. So I've noticed that pulling the side handle it's a lot easier than pulling, if I try to pull with one hand, uh, the AR type. It, you know, it's just a lot harder for some reason. Maybe I'm just using my left hand and my left hand's weaker, I don't know. I mean, I can tell these, uh, the three inch shells kicked a little more, but other than that, it ran fine. So, other than the first couple of stove pipes to start with, I haven't had that problem. God, that never gets old. Here is our uh, kitty litter jug. Oh! I hit it a little low, but it just blew it out. It looked good on high speed. Blew the lid off, too. Okay, we're going to shoot this. Uh, we're going to shoot this baby left-handed just because. Uh, we're back to the uh, federal field target ammo the two and three quarter so oh 
Uh, let's give the slow-mo camera a second to uh, reset. Well, they went ahead and ejected it, but yeah, works fine. I keep getting something. Oh, I don't know if it's the air or what. Crap, I can't bend over to pick it up. Okay, so you can see from the slow mo uh, when the shell, had, the shell, when I'd fire, the spent casing had come back and hit me in the lip. Uh, mostly it was just like annoying. Hey, something hit me. What was that? It didn't run really painful, but I wouldn't recommend it for a left handed shooter. Um, but just for you guys, let's try to get a close-up shot of the uh, uh, of the shell ejecting and hitting me in the face. You know, just for your entertainment. Here we go. <sighs> I mean, I can feel it, but it doesn't hurt. Um... Yeah, because because of this, if you're a left-handed shooter, I can't recommend this gun. Uh, but other than that, it's a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, a couple of little things I'm not, not too fond of, you know, just being kind of nitpicky. Um, I don't really like these sights. Uh, just the recoil is causing them to mess up. This I showed it earlier. So when I fire it. This tends to move forward, but it doesn't move all the way out of the way, so it's kind of halfway and messes up, so it won't hold. Uh, but sights are a minor thing. I mean, we can, I can go buy those. Just got the standard rail. Uh, the tr the other problem that's probably uh, a bigger deal for me is the trigger pull. Uh, I got the trigger pull at 11 pounds on my scale, uh, which is pretty darn heavy, but I don't really notice it shooting. Um, I don't know if that's because I shoot a lot of mil serps with heavy triggers, and it just just doesn't uh, just doesn't bother me any. So, yeah, I really like this gun. I'm glad I got it. I'm sure you'll see it a lot more on the channel. Uh, I don't get to do a lot of reviews of new guns because I really don't buy a lot of new guns. Maybe one or two a year. So this has been a lot of fun doing this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and burn the rest of this ammo. Um, I could be out here shooting all day. You know, do this for hours, but, you know, I've kind of like gotten to like you guys, so I'll keep you breaking into it now. So, if you like this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have suggestions for future videos or thought I did something wrong, put it in the comments below. Uh, take care, everybody. Oh. Okay. Okay. Man, I say okay a lot. I never realized that until I did these videos. Okay. Not bad. Anyway.